Hey, this is Georgie. And Pete. And welcome to Studio Jargon Busters, where we talk about studio terminology in plain English. That's right. In every episode, I will try, sometimes successfully, to explain a commonly used audio recording term in some commonly used plain English. <laughs> in fact, in, what are we talking about today? Uh, today, we're going to be talking about uh, plugins. Plugins. Okay, so let's talk about some plugins. Let's go. So what's a plugin? So a plugin is all about the business. <laughs> so in in my world, mm. which is uh, digital communications, a plugin is a piece of software that plugs in, if you will, into another piece of software. Exactly right. And a plugin in the recording world is pretty much exactly the same thing. And it's probably interesting to think about where the term plugin came from originally. So originally when you had a recording setup, so when you were using an audio analog interface, you would actually literally plug in things. So if you plug in, let's say you plug things in. If you had a piece of external gear or equipment, let's just say you had a compressor, we'll get to that. You had an EQ, we've talked about that. If you had some sort of something that you plugged into your mixing desk, then it would actually literally plug in. So you would have your your channel, your track that you'd be recording to, and then you'd have an ascend that goes out to a piece of equipment and then it would come back in and then it would be doing a thing. It could be reverb, it could be compression, it could be delay. You know what delay is? Echo? Ah, 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 ah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> How was <is> that? <laughs> <laughs> so what is a plugin in modern terms? Well, you, you hit the nail on the head. A plugin is a piece of software that actually plugs in to your digital audio workstation. And then they talk to each other. Exactly. So if you have a digital audio workstation where you are recording a track, you might or get a, a DAW. A DAW, will. if you will. Then you want to grab a plug in. Say you want to get some reverb. You've recorded an awesome vocal track, but it's sounding a bit dull and lifeless. What you would do is you would go to your DAW, your digital audio workstation, and you would select a plug in and you would grab a reverb plug in. So plugins can be included in your software, or you can actually download, or you can pay. Tens, hundreds, thousands of dollars so for professional freeware, ones. paid software or included in the original software? A hundred percent, yes. Right. I'm, I'm getting this exactly. 100. Exactly. Fantastic explaining, Pete. Well done. Thank you for that. <laughs> Patronizing <laughs> compliment. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the world of recording, yes, uh, you can exactly have that. You can have your included plugins that come with whatever piece of software you're using. You can have a free plugin that you can download, which could be awesome or it could be completely crud. Or oh, you could... I've experienced many of the crud plugins. Crud plugins <laughs> are very cruddy. And you know, think it, even like on the web, like WordPress has a whole bunch of plugins and there are some oh, yes. pretty cruddy have WordPress. experienced cruddy WordPress plugins. plugins that don't actually do anything and you can get the same thing in the audio world but you can also pay literally hundreds of dollars there's um waves plugins which are very expensive but uh, apparently do good things i've never bought them because i'm a lowly cheap home student yes i'm a cheap ass <laughs> so i've never bought those sort of plugins but a plugin will just do something that your standard can't do so originally like you had when we talked about the analog world you just had a standard channel and you would just have your eq knob so you just dial in what you wanted to and like i said if you wanted anything external you'd have to plug something in now we have the wonderful world of plugins which we can add anything else did you have any questions about plugins Oh, uh, no. <laughs> no, I've explained it so perfectly explained it that so there well. are no questions about uh, plugins. Ordinarily, your random recording jargons make no sense to me. Yeah. But coming from the world of digital communications, plugins is a fairly common term. So I vaguely understand where you're coming from. But next time, when we talk about something, something else, else, something else, something else. When we talk about compression, yes, I'm not going to have a clue. You know? No? Okay. So you're going to have to help me out there, Sunshine. Uh, I'll, I'll do my best. So join us on the next episode where we will be talking all about 
compression. And as always, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. And if you want any more information, head on over to studiolivetoday.com and we will see you next time to talk about... Jargon Busters. And compression. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching Studio Jargon Busters. To find out when new episodes drop, hit the subscribe button. To watch another episode right now, click or tap on the icon on the left. And for more recording tips, tricks and tutorials, click or tap on the right.